In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most important tips that I can break down on the offensive side of the ball in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I would ask that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I upload free videos every single day, a couple times a day for Madden 22. Also, if you're new, I do want to encourage you that if you want to take your game to the next level, check out my True Fan membership. My True Fan membership is a month to month thing where basically you get access to every single defensive and offensive guide that we release. We've already released over nine ebooks. Uh, we also break down exclusive little tips and tricks, a lot of the dime dollar stuff we've broken down so far this year on the defensive side of the ball. And then also, um, we sometimes will be doing some exclusive live streams. We do uh, a bunch of Q&A stuff for you. It's the best way that you could, you could support the channel as well. So if you want to become a true fan, we try to make sure that you get access to everything that you need to dominate in Madden 22. So if you want to sign up for that, again, that's 10 bucks a month. I'm going to put a link down in the description below. You'll get my full uh, bunch offense, bunch tight end offense, as well as pretty much, like I said, every guy that we release for the year. We're actually working on a new offense right now as well. So if you want to sign up for that, again, I would really appreciate it. And it's the best way that you could support the channel. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk today um, about a very specific deal that you can do out of Gun Bunch that is something that's honestly, I don't know if it's new. I mean, it's it's been done before. Um, it's been done before in terms of like, it's it's been in um, previous Maddens. We've, we've talked about this concept before, but I think this year is probably the best it's ever been because of how how ridiculously good it will literally just bomb any coverage in this game. So to, to, to show this as an example, I'm actually going to come out in the cover four match because we're going to show you basically how to glitch or how to break uh, match defense in this game primarily. So um, I wanted to first break down uh, cover four quarters and, and, and really I can, if, if you play match against bunch, palms, quarters, or six is all the same in terms of the way that it's going to play the bunch side. They get a, a box check. And so what you want to do is you want to put your fastest player uh, on the outside. So you see I've got Scotty Miller there, and then I've got uh, Chris Godwin. Now, quick disclaimer, I would highly recommend that you are running a hot rap master quarterback if you're playing Madden Ultimate Team. And if you're playing regs, I would recommend using the Bills because you really only need a slot apprentice. But it's best to have hot rap master this year. But in my opinion, like I said... Slot Apprentice will get the job done. You just need the Slot Apprentice for one specific adjustment that I'm going to show you. So the play is clear out of Seattle. Out of Seattle. Um, this is my favorite play by far in the game. And I'm going to show you how it just got taken to the next level. So uh, real quick, most people like to run their bunch to the wide side of the field. And the reason I like to do that is because if I was to run this, um, uh, this Z-spot concept, it gives a lot more space for this corner route from the R1 receiver to get over the top of every zone in the game, as you can see. That Z spot corner, I will tell you, is honestly, in my personal opinion, one of the most underutilized concepts from Bunch, but it's actually probably the best concept, okay? The same thing can be true of the verticals concept, right? The verticals concept, what, what a lot of people don't understand about this is if you just simply do these adjustments right here, and then on the back side, you can honestly run whatever you want. But the beauty of this is this crossing route creates a high-low concept on that side as well. And that's honestly what makes Bunch so powerful. But what makes it even more powerful is its ability to bomb coverages specifically from this clear out SE outplay with one simple adjustment. So I'm going to cover four quarters right here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put Chris Godwin on a corner route. And what you're going to see is circle is going to get completely open. There's going to be nobody near him. As you can see right here, it's an easy one play score. Now, almost every YouTuber that you're going to watch or any game plan, ebook, whatever, they will all tell you to deep half the bunch side. And it's a great tip. And the reason why it's a great tip is because what you're going to see here is if I deep half that, at that right side of the screen, you're going to see that that plays it really, really well. Now, I played a guy that I have a lot of respect for, a very a very good match player, uh, King Reggie. Uh, over at the, he's got a YouTube channel as well, and I know that he's big into match defense, and he's big into uh, like the wide zone stuff that that the Rams are doing right now with Sean McVay, and also something that uh, Kyle Shanahan with the Niners are doing, and they actually did this back in Terrell Davis with Mike Shanahan. Okay, so he's a great, great guy, great YouTuber, really. And, and I actually just randomly matched up with him, and he was running match defense. And he did the tip 
that every that everyone tells you as you can see you know you, you play the deep half and so what what i did you could actually go to his channel and watch the game um i'll try to put a link to that in the description of the video but what i did was i ran this concept so if they do this they're always going to deep half the bunch side pretty much unanimously they're almost always going to do this well if you run your bunch to the short side of the field you can actually glitch the deep half out and I'll show you how to do that. So we're just going to use the corner route. What you want to do is you want to wait until that safety turns his hips to the inside. And you're going to throw an outside pass lead. And as you can see, if you have a fast receiver there, you're going to be able to get over the top. So let me just jump into instant replay for just a second and explain what you're seeing. This is why I run. This is my personal reasoning as to why Gun Bunch is the best offense in the game. Because... It can literally bomb every coverage. I'm going to come back to that in just a second. So what you're going to see here is if you watch this safety, you see that deep half right there. He turns his hips to the inside. Now, as a uh, again, this is a read. You have to make the read, right? But once he turns his hips to the inside, obviously I know this guy is already down here. I could throw this corner out if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to step up and I'm going to pass lead this outside and lead it away from the defender and as you see as long as i got a fast receiver there i could make it a lot of good stuff happen now that's not to say to the short side that your your uh, quarters bomb doesn't still work as you'll see here it's exactly the same so the most popular adjustment that people are using online if they're running match to stop this is not working okay now i actually have an ebook out on match as well and i actually have an adjustment that's not a deep half it's only one simple adjustment and it will actually stop this but again if you want to get that just get the membership it'll get you access to everything so now what i want to show you is how we can run the same concept to the other side so i'm just going to sub in honestly i'll just leave mike evans in there it'll be fine and i'm going to come out and cover four quarters again and I'm going to deep half. Now, the reason why I like bunch is because, again, a lot of people like this about bunch. And I know that there are some people that would say that it's very cheesy with how easily you can flip. I think the primary point of the cheese is more in the fact that you can snap the ball so fast. That's, to me, what's overpowered about it. But I'm not really interested in that. Obviously, I do like quick snap and all that stuff. It's a good tactic. But the more thing that I'm interested in is I can flip my bunch and it's not a major transition. You'll see right here, if I flip, see how simple that is? And they go there really fast, right? I like that because what I can do is I can, it allows me to, to attack both sides of the field, but defense has to respect that. That's all I'm trying to get at, okay? So the bottom line is, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna put the corner out there. I put the deep path out there. So watch Mike Evans, I'm looking at that safety. Once he turns his hips to the inside, I pass lead outside, and as you can see, we're now glitching match coverage on both sides of the field. That's what's really cool about this game or this um, this offense because let's say they run cover three. Well, we know that this is a in incredible cover three beater. As you can see right there, it's a better cover three beater than it is a match beater by far because we can beat cover three no matter what. If anyone is playing gun bunch and they are still running cover three, I think they're crazy because there's absolutely no reason to be running cover three against bunch. You're either going to see cover four or you're going to see cover two, okay? And if you, based on the tendencies of your opponent, if you see cover two, you wanna run more short side bunch because of this concept that I'm showing you in this video. You'll see here, if he runs cover two, that deep half, I wait till he turns there and then I just turn, throw outside, just like that, every single time, okay? So I can beat cover two that way. So if they're playing more cover two, you want to run more short side bunch. But if they're playing more cover four drop, which I don't know if I have in here, I don't think I do. If they're playing more cover four drop, you want to go to the outside. And I'll try to grab one, grab one from a dollar set that you can see. So I'm just going to come out and cover four drop. Now, I will say cover four drop to me is the hardest to bomb from this specific play. But what you want to do is you want to go wide side of the field. If you go wide side of the field, then what's going to happen is you're going to see here that right side corner a lot of times will dumb out and you can pass lead this to the right and get yourself in a decent chance. Right there, Collins made a great play. Let me break it down one more time. But the point is primarily to show you the match bomb and the cover two and how it works and all that stuff with the deep half. But now take a look at this. You're going to see here, there's a lot of the times where you're going to get this little 
and again, we're not getting it right here, but it's primarily more so to like if they press coverage. The problem with this though, is if they do this, now look, your corner route is wide open. Your corner route's wide open. They can't stop the flood. That's the beauty of bunch. That, in my opinion, is the beauty of bunch. So if I go with a high low to the right with the fade, they've got to do so much to stop the fade. They have to double team or man it up or do something, right? Then that opens up everything else from the offensive perspective. Most people aren't going to want to do all this to stop one route, okay? Now, like I said, the comfort drop is probably, like I said, I think it's the better of the coverages in terms of stopping the bomb. The problem is it doesn't stop everything else, okay? It doesn't stop the corner route. Um, you know, if you get solo coverage and you've got a good receiver on the left side and there's some other things that you can do for, for cover for, but you see like right there, I'm just going to pass lead to the right. Once he's kind of even and leaving, I'm going to try to just kind of throw that over the top. And again, Brady doesn't have the best arm in the game, but let me just show you this to the short side one more time. And again, cover four drops good. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm trying to get at here. But it's the only real coverage they can play. That's the point. So we force them to have to play this, and then they can't stop our corner routes. Now, again, it's a cat and mask game. They can trick you one time or whatever, but you see how good this play really is. But you'll see here. I mean, if it's cover four drop, you can do this aggressive catch. A lot of times it does work if you have deep out of lead on that player. But by and large, you're pretty much bagged, okay? So that is just what I wanted to hit on. And, and how this really works so good against cover two. And this is why I would rather, I almost am starting to su suggest to people, I mean, I guess I am suggesting this to people, that they would, I would think it makes more sense for them to run cover um, or run short side bunch at this point in the year right now, just the way things work. Uh, run short side bunch. Because the the, product, the the other thing that we haven't even gotten into, this is one concept. And the beauty of this is, that it's really, really good against, um, it's really, really good against match, really good against cover three, really good against cover two. But then you go to verticals. And again, I said short side bunch, right? So if we're short side, now this crossing route has a ton of room to work all the way across the field. So what you could also do is you could say, you know what, I'm gonna take my tight end and I'm gonna put him on a, um, you know, I'm gonna put him on a, a, a delay fade. And then let's say you have a hot route master. Well, what's stopping you from motioning this guy out, put him on a skinny post, and then you motion him back in, and then now, you know, you might have a situation where you've got a high-low, plus you've got that post route, and this becomes kind of a PA boot over special. So the bottom line is, the clear out is opens up so much, and I really, really would encourage you to check out my bunch ebook. We don't just break down the Seattle bunch, we break down every bunch in the game. Um, that's going to be linked in the description. Obviously, if you get my true fan membership, you're going to get access to this. You're also going to get access to my bunch tight end guide, and you're going to get access to all my defenses. And again, it's just 10 bucks a month, and you can cancel it whenever you want. You can cancel whenever you want. So, um, you know, again, you can kind of get the stuff that's tailored to what you need. But for my money, this is how this clear out play works. And this is why it's so important to really understand the very specific little things that they actually have to do to stop this play is a, an insane amount of adjustments. Because let's just say they run cover four real quick. Let's just say they run cover four, okay? Well, okay, now, like I said, you've got your flood concept on the right side, but you also have this open a lot of uh, this tight end post normally gets open i got matched right there it still caught it um that's not not going to happen most of the time because of all of the other things they have to worry about they have to worry about the running back out route and in route they have to worry about the corner route to the bunch side they have to worry about the fade to the left side i think this fade to the left side probably the best user catch route in the game so you get a one-on-one -on -one and you want to try you put deep out elite on that guy you'll get that animation and a lot of times you'll make that play so the bottom line is bunch is the meta for a reason, but I think some people don't understand the little intricate small things that make it so good. It's this clear out play because it forces your opponent to have to really adjust to stop it. They have to play cover four drop. They have to mabel the bunch side, okay? And then they have to also user the tight end route. So the adjustments that they would have to make, to be honest with you, is they're gonna have to do something to this extent. They're going to have to flat this guy. They're going to have to purple this guy. They're going to have to user this guy. And this guy's going to have to be in a hard flat. 
Okay, and if they if the, and then they're going to have to take crossers. Any crosser they're going to have to take. Now again, what you can then do off of that, like I said, is go to your verticals play and then just run a basic curl flat read on the backside. Run a little high low, and now you've got them in a in a really bad spot. Okay, they just can't stop everything you can do, and that's the beauty of the bunch. So. The bottom line is, guys, if you want to get access to all of my ebooks, there's a link down below. Um, I think it's going to really help you get better. Um, it's, again, 10 bucks a month. Best way to support the channel by far. Um, if you just want the specific bunch ebook, I'm going to link that down below as well. But that's why Clear Out so good. And that's what separates Gun Bunch is its ability to bomb every, pretty much every coverage. And when you run Seattle, you don't just get bunch, but you get bunch tied in which is a really, really great formation, in my opinion, to run alongside of this. Because let's say you're getting a lot of cover four. Then you go to something like this. And this is probably the best cover four beater in the game. Um, as you can see right here, I'm just going to wait on the, the, the post. Obviously, it didn't get all the way open. I still caught it. But you see, now you're in a whole different thing. So... You know, this offense is just a really, really hard to stop, especially if you know what you're doing and you know even more so what the defense has to do to be able to slow you down. So thanks for watching the video. Again, if you want to get the guide, it's linked in the description and it's linked down in the comments.